previously on Road to 1000. So this is what I asked, and this was the reply. I forgot to ask the most important question. Let me go back. Everyone's favorite Garthemis. Let's go. So I think right here would be best. We start with 10 dudes. I... yeah, it's been a while. I completely forgot that. So... what was it again? Tails. So no free migration. Meaning I have to stick with Garthemis, which... Honestly, they're not that hard to please, so... You know, it's perfectly fine. Let me just do some planning. Plan the roads out a bit. Across... we'll go across like this. Wow, that is... yeah, I'm not used to this at all. Now, I like to grid stuff. I hope you don't mind. I'll just use like a... oh, this... no. I'll just use a storage... for reference. I think... Yeah, I'll just use a warehouse to like... sell out the grid. Okay, so I'll do like districts like this and then... Oh, actually, this is insane. Okay, this is cool. Let's try this out. Yeah, so I'm gonna have the main street. And then... Like a few massive blocks and then in between... We'll just have these like smaller... Well, like alleys or something? I don't know what they're called. I'm not a city planner, dude. I just like to make grids. And we've pretty much made the square. Let me get rid of these. We don't need them. I'll just do this real quick. In our, like, near our starting area, just to make things easier for me. So I made the inner city. Oh, well. Yeah, whatever. I made the inner city. I'm thinking of making, like, a... Like, turning this into a castle. Like fortifying the inner area and then the rest of the city maybe I can build an expansion walls like a few you know what I mean like I ex extend the walls slightly let's just uh do that real quick it's just a plan it doesn't have to be followed right so the first thing we need to do is build a hunting shack and a small farm and honestly we can just do it it's your first, like, few buildings. It doesn't have to be anything insane, as long as it gets the job done. There we go. It's probably... there we go. That's not efficient at all, but... It's whatever. Activate. Need some more trees, so let's... Chop all these trees down. Oh, someone build this. Hurry up. There we go. Two, f two hunters. And then it says, a small farm of each plant type. It also said, to use one-fifth of your population for farms. Okay, so that means like two people, because <laughs> we have 12 people. So where's farms? Um, and recommended fruit. Is there any wild fruit? The wild fruit is all the way up here, so that's pretty far. There's some here as well. You can harvest wild edibles to uh, supplement it as well. Let's harvest the wild stuff first. It's pretty far. I mean, they'll just they'll do what they can. So I've designated the entire map to be harvested. At least look for somewhere nice to put the farm. I mean, probably near the water. I could move the water, but... The next update... Well, the developer said something about planning... Changing how water works, so you can't just like... Prospect for fish anymore, like you used to. So I need to get used to not being able to do that now. You know, just ahead of time, so I'm gonna get used to something that's gonna be taken away. Yeah, that's okay. You know, even if it has low yields, we'll just say that the Garthemis, like these 12 people, don't really know what they're doing, okay? 
These 12 dudes. They just don't, they don't know. Like this guy's skinny dipping. Like, like we have <laughs> we have, we have more important things to be doing. Ah, he's just some smoko. Leave him alone. We don't have any fruit, so we do have vegetables. Let's um, make a vegetable farm. These guys need some place to sleep. A long house. See, the thing about my gridding system is that. There you go. It's perfect uh, for building these. There you go. Building houses like that. And we only need one of these for now, so let's suspend this. Add beds, canteen followed with a warehouse. So a canteen is like this thing here. That's pretty far away. 150 and 750. You need a research station to even reach there, you know, so... I'm not sure if they meant eatery. Oh, also you need coal. Um, ignore that for now. They can just eat stuff, like, off the ground. They don't go insane like, you know, like your dudes do in RimWorld. I could just whip into a smaller warehouse. Yeah, okay, let's... yeah, we will. Let's whip into a small warehouse like this. Oh, look at that. I swear this wasn't on purpose, but... Now we've got like a little thing here we can do. Oh, here's another thing we can do actually. It's gonna look cool as, boom, look at that. Oh, that's insane, I didn't even, that's not scripted guys. Oh shit, it's not meant to be grand, where is it? Oh, that actually looks sick. And then we just make some dirt. Dirt there, there we go, boom, oh, easy. Store vegetables here, and then we store fruits there. That is clean. Now we're storing food, so the game registers it as like actually having the items. Because before it was just lying around here, so then they would get like mad that there's not like a bunch of crap. You know what I mean, like they got nothing to eat. Oh, oh no. Let's just automatically employ people in all of these. And then look at that, we've got our first 21 people. Need some more housing. And then I think we have enough people to actually build the roads now. There we go. Let's get the roads built. Ooh, actually something I forgot. Oh no. Something I forgot because the advice didn't say anything about it is to build this. And this seems to be a priority. Ah, people just died from the cold, okay. People are dying from the cold right now. If okay, hold on. Suspend, suspend everything except for. Please build this ASAP. Someone died. People are dying still. Um, this means we're gonna need a graveyard. Graveyard, graveyard. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't have the graveyard unlocked. Can we just make it like a, a ditch, a mass grave? Alright, for health and safety purposes, I'll just make like a... There we go. Let's put it there, 9x9. Nine nine. Let's build that. It's very sad. GG, bro. Oh, look at that. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> they, they'll, they'll keep coming in. They don't care. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna export anything. It didn't say anything about exporting. It said to like build up, try to keep your money low. Enemies do get attracted by your treasury. They don't really care about your all of this stuff. Oh, here we go. Leader. Boom. The next order of advice was to, to keep your citizens happy. You need to focus on improving services such as lavatories, hearths, and wells. Well, well, I've got the wells, I've got the hearth. Now we just need lavatories. And like, and if you want to look at the services, it's this tab here. So I right clicked on this and then services. I click left clicked on services and now there's all this stuff, right? So it said to focus on hearths wells 
lavatories and then like anything else here that we can fulfill. So one of the things we can do is get a new spot. That's pretty easy. And um, yeah, we need to get these toilets set up. The thing with toilets is you need furniture, I think. Oh, let me take a look. Yeah, you need furniture. So only 40 people can live in this one block. There we go. I've got 40 people. Well, one homeless person, I guess. Poor guy. Yeah, so this speaker can serve us this entire... What? Block, I guess? Yeah, block. There's a block. And now we need to work towards getting toilets, meaning we need a... Carpenter. Carpenter! We have plenty of stuff. Plenty of wood just everywhere, so we'll just need to make like a small one of these. I have templates for everything, so I don't really know what, how to build one of these. I can't remember. There we go. Something like that, I guess. And then... Auxiliary. Alright, let's just make this smaller. I don't have anyone that can work here anyway, like... I don't have that many people. Boom, boom. Something like that. All of this will eventually get replaced, except for the housing. It's carpenter built. Just auto-employ it, there we go. Actually, we'll be fine. Now we actually need to put a storage. The game just needs to know that we actually have the furniture. Something like that. Along those lines. Now, the Arthemis, so for the housing, they like having clay and stone. Being able to mine this clay, and I think there's some stone down here, yeah. Having a constant supply of that, like, you can just allocate, like, this. You can allocate it here, and that'll make them really happy. Yeah, so I made the carpenter, and then now let's make the toilet. I'm just gonna make... I'm gonna use the... Ah, I'm gonna use a template. There we go. Bloody hell. It's gonna take a lot of materials, but... Yeah, they'll get it done eventually. It's sort of an ongoing project. Authorized by Ocean Man of Oceania.